So let us now implement load balancing using static routing. So I will go to router 4 which is introduced for the first time in this topology and then I will configure static route to reach the network 3.0 using the next hop of 1.254 which is this IP address here and on router 1 I will configure static route to reach the network 4.0 using the next hub of 192.168.2 53 which is this IP address here and also on router 1 I will show run include route and I will delete this default static route which caused the loop in the previous lecture and I will replace it with a default static route using the local exit interface and on router 3 I will configure a default static route to reach the 1.0 network using the next hop of 4.253 which is this IP address and finally on router 2 I will show run include route and I will add a second default static route using a different next hop which is the 2.252 which is this IP address here now on router 2 if I issue the command do show IP route we see that we have a default static route but it uses two different next hops the 2.254 and the 2.255 so here we have load balancing configured so now let us check or verify on PC3 I will bring the 1.1 IV we see that the wing is successful I try to trace this address we see that the traffic takes the 254 as the next hop but why is the traffic taking this path or which component decides what path for the traffic to take actually the component that decides uh, what uh, path for the traffic to take is SEF or uh, Cisco Express forwarding so here on router 2 I will issue the command show IB SEF exact route and then the source which is the 1.1 address and then the sorry the 3.1 address and then the destination which is the 1.1 uh, we see that the traffic should take the 254 as the next hop and as we said that SEF is the component responsible for doing load balancing so on 
EC3, we see that the traffic takes the 254 as the next hop. Let us verify for another pair of hosts, so the 3.1 and the 1.2. We see that the traffic should take the 252 as the next hop. Now on PC3, I will bring the 1.2. We see that we have connectivity. If we try to trace now, we see that it takes the 252 as the next hop, as the output is shown with chef. Finally, for the 4.1 address, we see that it should take the 252 also as the next hop. Now, on PC3, if I try to bring the 4.1, we see that we have connectivity. And if we try to trace this address, we see that it takes the 252 as the next hop. Now, this load balancing is not a true load balancing because traffic between the 3.1 and traffic .1, uh, to the 1.1 takes the path through the 2.254 and the traffic from 3.1 to the two other hosts, the 1.2 and the 4.1 takes the other path through the 2.252 IP address. Now, the traffic between two hosts or two pair of hosts might be heavier or uh, uh, there is a lot of traffic between two hosts. So, this is not a true load balancing. This is called pair destination load balancing and uh, it is not a true load balancing. How can we implement true load balancing or a pair packet load balancing where between two pair of hosts one packet goes through one path and the other packet uh, go through the other path we can do that by going to router 2 and then to the outgoing interface which is the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now on router 2 I will go to the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and I will issue the command IB load sharing and then I will, I, will select, I will select the pair packet option or keyword after that I should wait for a few seconds for this to take effect or we can issue the command clear IB self star prefix statistics and then if we go to PC3 and repeat the ping again and then the trace so trace one 92.168.1.1 we see that the traffic takes the path through the 254 as the second hop so through this hop and then it takes the 4.253 as the third hop so this hop so through this path so some buckets go through this path and the other buckets go through the other path 
let us check for d 168.192.1.192.168.1.2 and then repeat the trace so trace 192.168.1.2 we see that the second hop is also the 254 so this one and then the third hop is 4.253 so this hop so also we have pair packet load balancing and finally for the 4.1 address we repeat the trace so trace 192.168.4.1 we see that the second hop is 3.254 so uh, sorry the second hop is 2.254 so this one and then the third hop is 4.1 so this address directly so some packets go through this path and the other packets go through the other path so this way we have implemented pair packet load balancing